Hi, my name is Daniel Moyer with Cam Solar. We're out here on a site to show you how to energize your system and give you a little bit of a walkthrough of the different pieces of equipment and have a look at it and make sure everything's functioning properly. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is just walk through each individual piece of equipment, uh, name it for you so you know what you're looking at. This right here uh, is the inverter. Uh, this inverter, solar edge inverter, um, it may look different on your house, uh, but the basic setup is the same. Um, this is an AC disconnect switch. Some houses have one, some houses have two. Just depends on the jurisdiction you're in uh, and the special requirements there. This particular house has two AC disconnect switches, one on each side of this here, which is the PV or photovoltaic meter. The PV meter is uh, what is going to read all of your solar energy production coming off of your roof and through your inverter. Once again, another AC disconnect switch. And then you have your regular utility meter and your regular main panel or main disconnect. Uh, in some cases, there will be a solar breaker inside of this main panel. In some cases, there will not be. Um, if there is one, you would open up your panel door and it'll be labeled and there'll be a sticker next to it indicating that it's the solar breaker. If you don't see that sticker, you don't have a solar breaker. So the process to turn the system on after the utility meter or utility company sets your photovoltaic rec meter um, and gives you a net meter uh, is as follows. So if you do have a breaker in here, you're going to want to turn it on. Next step is turning on your AC disconnect switches by flipping the handles up. Then on the inverter, you're going to turn this switch to the on position. That's the DC disconnect. And then there's also a little red toggle switch uh, under here with a open circuit and closed circuit indicator. They look like a zero and a one. You're going to want to flip it to the closed circuit indicator, which looks like a one. Um, on the newer inverter types, uh, the inverters are a little bit squatter, and the little red toggle switch is actually kind of on the left-hand side. So once you do that, you should see a green light come on the inverter here next to the power production, uh, and that's indicating everything's good. It's going to start up. Um, and over here there are three LEDs. You have the green one, you got a red one on the bottom, which indicates a fault. If you do ever see that, just give us a call and there'll be a message on the screen. We'll ask you what that message says uh, and we'll get it fixed right away for you. Uh, the middle one is a yellow light that you'll see occasionally and it's just a communications light. Uh, every time it pings the panels uh, and sends a communication signal, it blinks that light. If ever you do need to turn off your system, which you most likely won't, but if ever you do need to, um, your best point to turn it off is the closest point to your main panel. Uh, so if you have a breaker, that would be the best point to turn it off. In this case, there is no breaker, so it would be this AC disconnect switch you would turn off. Uh, and that will kill the power all the way up to the roof. This meter here, like I mentioned before, is your PV rec meter. It counts all of your solar production. Uh, it just keeps counting up and up and up. It doesn't reset every month. Um, it's good to have as a backup to your monitoring system, but you're mostly going to rely on your monitoring system to look at monthly production numbers. Um, this net meter, depending on what utility you're in, may only have one reading. It may have two readings. Um, and if it has one reading, what happens is as your solar energy system produces more power than your home needs, it sends power back through this meter and it just spins the meter backwards. If you have one that has multiple readings, um, one of the readings is the amount of energy that's delivered to you from the utility, and the other reading is the amount of energy that you sent back to the utility. It does have a little indicator of which direction the power is moving. There's three little dots on it. If they're chugging away to the right, 
you're using energy from the utility. If they start going to the left, it means you're actually producing more power than you need in your home at that time, and you're sending energy back to the utility company. If you do have any questions about how to activate your system, or uh, how to read any of the meters, or if what's going on with the inverter, feel free to give us a call, uh, and we will walk you through anything and answer all your questions. Thank you for your time.